It's only in a private enterprise system, a market economy, that a chicken could become a national celebrity. This is the famous San Diego chicken, a talented entertainer who uses a variety of comedy routines to help people laugh and enjoy themselves at sports events and other public gatherings. He began as a $2 an hour mascot for a radio station, but through his own initiative, expanded that job into a comedy act that enables him to earn over $100,000 a year. It's a unique career that could only happen in a market economy. We are all affected by the economy from which we obtain jobs, food, clothing, shelter, and recreation. Therefore, if we intend to benefit from the economy, we should understand it. However, an economy is sometimes hard to understand. Chickens are easier. So the chicken is going to help make the economy more interesting and understandable. Just over 200 years ago, this was a rural country. A majority of the people worked as farmers. Only a small amount of trade occurred at trading posts, small stores, and farm markets. Since then, our nation has developed one of the largest, most complex economic systems in the world, with millions of people dependent upon it for the needs of daily living. Our economy is an unusual system. In particular, it encourages and rewards creative work that satisfies consumers. The economic system is called capitalism. An easier name for capitalism is market economy. What is unique about this economy and why are some people more successful than others? Specifically, out of 200 million chickens hatched in this country each year, why did this one become a financial success? These are questions this story will help you answer. Our economy has five special characteristics that makes it unique. The first of these unique characteristics is private ownership of resources. Economic resources like tools, labor, and natural resources are available in different amounts to everyone. How these resources are used has a great influence on a person's success or failure in the economy. Under our system, the chicken is allowed to own his own costume or materials, his comedy routines, which are labor, and other valuable things. chicken may not take resources owned by other people, like third base. Private ownership allows a business or an individual to use a resource exclusively. Others may use that resource only with the owner's permission. In this case, the stadium operators own third base, not the chicken, so he's forced to return it. One economic role of the government 
is to protect property rights. You can be sure that had the ball players not made the chicken put back third base, the police would have. To be successful in the economy, an individual must decide how to use available resources in a manner that will satisfy consumers. The chicken's greatest asset is his specialized use of available labor resources. He began by doing light physical work only, signing autographs and walking around at sports events advertising the radio station's call letters. The chicken then added another type of labor resource, imagination, and he began to develop comedy routines like this one. Almost every fan would like to sneak into the opposition's huddle, make notes on the coach's strategy, then pass on those plays to his own team. The chicken pretends to do just that, and the ridiculous idea makes people laugh. Acting out routines like this represented a risk to the chicken's mascot career. He had been safe just walking around in his costume, but had the spectators not found the chicken's new routines entertaining, he would have failed. Risk-taking is important in our economic system. No one knows for sure exactly what the consumers want, but a producer must try out an idea, take a risk, in order to succeed. Influences on the type of work we, or an entertaining chicken, decide to do can go way back to childhood. Teachers, parents, and friends can play a part in career decisions, but the economy encourages one special person to influence us most. The person is our self. We are encouraged to follow our own self-interest. The second basic characteristic of a market economy. Self-interest means each person is free to decide what work to pursue and how best to obtain economic rewards. For instance, the chicken's job as a fry cook ended when he suddenly realized that lots of recipes call for eggs. To a chicken, breaking eggs is no joke. Employment as a construction worker made him jumpy. He dreamed of a career as an athlete. The chicken just couldn't get along with his teammates. The chicken tried the shoe shine business and found great satisfaction in making those shoes sparkle. However, the pay was not what the chicken had expected. We should note that pay is important, but is not the only reason people do what they do. Many times, a job is a means to satisfy one's self-interest even though more money could be made on another job. This is why some people become teachers, government workers, or coaches. Originally, the chicken had not set out to become an entertainer, but another economic characteristic often encourages people to pursue careers in which they had never expected to work. That's consumer sovereignty, the third characteristic of our economic system. Consumer sovereignty was a prime factor in the chicken's failure as a disc jockey, the career he dreamed about as a teenager. He got a tryout, but did not succeed because he didn't understand the concept of consumer sovereignty. He did not play the music that the listeners wanted to hear. In fact, the only record he played all day long was his own favorite. In the Mood by the Hen House Five. When the disc became worn and scratchy, the chicken couldn't find a replacement because the record store was stocked with better-selling discs. 
This, too, is an example of consumer sovereignty. What most consumers want and are willing to buy is what is produced. Besides not finding a replacement for his favorite record, the chicken discovered that a worker who cannot satisfy consumer demand or a disc jockey who won't play what the listeners want to hear soon will be looking for another job. Engine 22, ladder 10. You have a house fire at 1426 Fircrest Avenue. Engine 22, ladder 10. You have a house fire at 1426 Fircrest Avenue. The excitement of firefighting appealed to the chicken. So, he tried that job. Unfortunately, being on time was not one of his strong points. job as a waiter ended in disaster when the chicken's tail swept food and water all over a customer. The chicken had failed to satisfy the consumer again. However, when people began to laugh, applaud, and cheer him, the chicken found success people were willing to pay to see him perform. Again, consumer sovereignty was at work. Without exception, more people than expected show up at sports events when the chicken is hired as an added attraction. The extra income from these additional ticket sales more than pays for the chicken's appearance. Thus, ticket buyers demonstrating the concept of consumer sovereignty are influencing the operators of sporting events to hire the chicken. In the U.S. economy, most transactions take place in markets, the fourth important characteristic of a capitalistic economy. Millions of people in our country, all following their own self-interest, get together, make products, develop services and exchange items in the marketplace. When economic resources are converted into products, like wheat into bread, those products are exchanged from the producer to the buyer in markets. A market can be a store, a mail order catalog, a telephone, or anywhere a transaction can be made. The seller tries to sell the product for a satisfying price and the buyer tries to get a good deal. Both decide voluntarily to buy or sell. In other words, the deal has to satisfy both parties or no exchange takes place. Not only products, but services are also sold in the economic marketplace. Services are actions that people value, such as haircuts and manicures or in this case, feather cuts and chicken cures. Barnyard humor aside, services include thousands of things like medical care, police protection, auto repairing, and entertainment. Instead of being a comic, the chicken could have tried to sell other services in the marketplace, like being a professional musician perhaps he could have become the young chicken with the horn. He could have become a maintenance man, the young chicken with the broom. The point is, in this economy, people are encouraged to sell their skills, their work in the marketplace. The chicken did this and found that thousands of consumers were willing to pay to see him perform. Since he did find the right job for him and has become financially successful, you might wonder why the chicken doesn't relax and enjoy the good life. Well, that leads us to the fifth characteristic of a market economy, competition.
other entertainers are trying to provide the same service at a lower price. So the chicken can't rest on his feathers. The chicken was the first professional sports mascot of his kind. The demand for his services increased when he added humor to his act. When the financial rewards became substantial, mascots of all descriptions began appearing on the sports scene. If the chicken were to become boring or repetitious, other entertainers would be ready to step in and take his place. In the same manner, each person who finds work will face competition. Each of us must try to improve our work and provide a valuable service to employers or consumers because a competitor is always ready to step into our job. The chicken also experienced competition when he began selling chicken dolls. This is the one I want. Thank you. Did you have a Thank you very much. At first, he found that people lined up to buy his dolls. There were more buyers than dolls, so he was able to raise the price and make more profit. But high profits attract competition. Raising the price again. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Pardon me. Look what we've got over here. The new improved chicken doll. Seventeen dollars. And check this out, huh? The new long leg. The red uh, tongue sticking out. Flap the wing. Just put your name and address down here. And we'll People found the competitors' dolls equally attractive and at a lower price. Therefore, the chicken had to reconsider his pricing policy. It's this competition among buyers and sellers that keeps people and chickens from taking advantage of one another or charging too high a price for a product in the marketplace. In the market economy, every successful product will face competition. How that competition is met determines the product's future. What lessons are there in the story of the chicken? First of all, in this economy, a person who finds work that provides sufficient income and personal satisfaction has achieved success. Although not all successful people will reach the same financial level as the chicken. That type of success only comes to people who possess a unique talent or product, have little competition, and enjoy great public popularity. Secondly, we've learned five basic market economy characteristics that will influence each person who seeks employment and financial security in this country. Private ownership of resources, self-interest motives, consumer sovereignty, markets, and competition. If you understand these characteristics, you'll have better knowledge of how the economy operates and how you can participate to satisfy your own needs and goals. Now you know why, from millions of chickens, this one humorous bird can be successful in our economy. That is, until it lays an egg. Any chicken can do that.